Okay, so now we are going to add uh, backgrounds and sounds just because we have not done that yet. Not necessarily any more complicated than anything we've done yet, but uh, I am going to add a background and we will load a background from our um, Escape from Alcatraz Sprites folder. And there it is, real simple, nice background. And I'm going to call this uh, BCK um, background. Okay, there's my background. I'll have to put that in my room. So I'll do that now. I'll put that in both rooms. On uh, the prison halls under backgrounds, I will just add the uh, background. And that's how it should look. Looks good with my guys in it. You notice the shading a little better too when it's in there and stuff. So that's my background. I'll add it. I'll let you add it to level two. And I'll add my sound as well. I happen to have just a simple um, a simple sound that uh, is nothing more than a little scary music for us um, as we're walking through and trying to escape prison. Oops, that's not the right one. Game Maker Tutorials. And <clears throat> let's see, I have it also in that sprites folder, scary background music. Okay, and I'm just going to click OK on that. And now I need to add that. And that gets a little interesting because depending on when you add it could change things in your game. Um, so I'm, I'm going to teach you something that I like to use called a controller object, which we'll use for other things later too. And this controller object is going to be intended to play that sound. So I'm going to call it um, OBJ controller. And I'll just call this one sound. And Notice I don't have to have a sprite for this. I'm going to put it in my room, but it's just going to be there, but you won't see it. So for this controller, when it is created, we could say, um, there are a lot of ways we could do this. We could do it when room starts. Uh, we could do it at game start. Um, in fact, I will do it at, um, I'll do it at room start because that'll make some sense for this one. So under other, there's room start, and I'm going to go to, um, main two and that is not where play sound is let's see main one i'm going to play the sound uh, and i just have it called sound two it's really called that other thing but i didn't uh, i didn't um save that yet and i do want it to loop in this case if you have like a gunshot type of sound later or something or you know if you're um hit into a wall you probably wouldn't want that to loop but for our background music we do now you also have to be careful because right now the way it's set up, when I get to the um, end of the room, if I have this same controller in the next room, it will start and it will play again. So I'm going to actually do something and hope that this works right. Um, under Object Bilbo, when he collides with the door, before he goes to the next room, I'm going to try to just have him stop playing that sound. Okay, So he's going to stop that sound. Um, and that way he should stop it. And then in theory, if I put that controller object in the next room, it will start again in that room. So um, I'm going to uh, hit OK on this. And I'm going to put that controller object in room one. Okay, so that's an object. Uh, it does not look like anything. But when you put it in a room, and I can put it anywhere, it shows up as, let's see if you can see it, as a little blue circle like with a question mark in it you can barely even let's see if you can see it see it there okay that's my controller object and again it doesn't matter much because um i mean it doesn't matter what it looks like it's just a it's a as the question mark means it doesn't understand it, it can't identify with the sprite so anyway so that's how that should work and let's see if we can hear it and we certainly will see our background and I'll leave it to you to get the sound and the background in the next level. Very scary, right? And there's my background and everything is good. Got it? So there we have it. That was kind of an easy one. Um, I will stop that so you can stop hearing the sound if you were in fact hearing it. And now it's your turn.